There's no, no speed. speed control. Let's see if our speed or lock side. I'd say go ahead and resist this. Right. I think it's useful to ponder Steiner's definition of uh, devotion and love. Right. You know those, uh, what he said? He said um, this is a <clears throat> devotion is when we um, carry someone within us. Right. And love is when we carry ourselves within someone, put ourselves within someone. So. Our cosmic role on Earth is the development of love and freedom. We cannot develop love without freedom. We cannot develop freedom without love. Mm -hmm. These two will, we will understand through wisdom how they go together. And the world that we live in today, where we experience the incredible wisdom of some creative beings, and I showed you before that fine-tuned universe, this whole new branch of physics, or the entropic universe. That's what they're saying in it, is the world, the universe, you just move it in iota, different, and all of life falls apart. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And so it's so finely tuned that it's incredible wisdom. Everything is full of wisdom. If we see the world right, we find it a wisdom-filled world. That was what was developed on all the world, is wisdom and fire. Now we go through wisdom to love. Wisdom is the bridge to love. And we will build a Jupiter where the beings who are on the human stage, as we experience wisdom, will experience love. Done. So, Oh My God is the first avatar sexual tool. So, if I'm going on a business trip and my wife stays at home, or girlfriend or whatever, it doesn't go with me on this business trip, I can still have sex with her and not have to bring in a prostitute or something. Um, and the way it works is you put on some contraption and then you can, um, through the glove, you can stimulate them if they put the contraption over their genitalia correctly and, um, and you can experience it virtually in your virtual reality and bring them to orgasm. But it's Sorry for the terminology, it's a hand job, okay? It's not <laughs> intercourse. But will it stop there? So I ask this question now in regards to, good, we're gonna finish just about on time, um, this merging with machines and prosthetic limbs. Can you fall in love with a person who has an artificial finger? I think everybody here would say yes. Okay. What about an artificial arm? <laughs> what about missing an arm and a leg? Ha, ha, ha. Where does this stop? How far do we go? We can transplant faces now. What if your son, let's say, had a horrible accident and acid spilled all over their face and it was totally disfigured? And now somebody dies, and they said it will be an organ donor. And so they cut off the person's face and put it on your son's face. Now your son has a wonderful face, but doesn't look anything like what he used to look like. How do you think that will affect your love? Or your husband, or your spouse, whatever. Well, we have to just the work to get beyond Maya to think that that's it, Thank you you know, what you're saying. looking at is right. what you've got. Is we have to have the, the heart connection. And as Steiner said, 
sometime way in the future, and I have no idea when he was talking about this, that we will see the body as a vehicle. Well, a that's... vehicle that we exist on earth, but that we are spiritual beings, and this is just a vehicle. That's already like that when, when somebody dies and comes back to life. They see that. They know that. Those people And And that, when right. you do your with me, you can get that feeling, too. Thank you. Right. So, <clears throat> we already have pacemakers. People already have machines keeping them alive. We have dialysis machines mm -hmm. and so on. Even though they're not connected 24 hours a day, people have to get connected to a machine. These have been around for a while, but we just don't think of them this way. We have bionic eyes. The window to the soul has been closed through these bionic eyes, but these people can see. But they so, say when they do transplants that you can get something of the personality of the person who had that organ before. Future eyes might have some ability, but the bionic eyes today are static. They adjust to light. I was thinking about organ transplants. Oh, or, right, I'm talking about artificial oh, eyes sorry. that allow you to see because they have an artificial retina that connects to sense, uh, you know, the, so there's an interface to the visual cortex or whatever it is, you know. Okay. So, um, can we also then love somebody who's deceased? I sure hope so. Even if you didn't know them? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know right. that person. I don't Obviously, know. people that we loved in a lifetime, but some people I know, and if I ask my father, do you still love your, you know, my mother? Because she died of breast cancer a good 30 years ago, and he's remarried. For him, it's like, a, two lives he's had. I don't know what he would say. Do we still love her? She's not here anymore. Yeah, but you should hope that. Um, you know, so, but what about a person that we only get to know through their avatar? Will we be strong enough through an avatar to say, my sense of ego is saying there is a real human being here behind this avatar. Can we come to love that person even though we only experience them through their avatar? So These are profound questions for us. Underlying a lot of this seems to be that the worst thing for a human being is if someone doesn't like them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they say. Well, they say that when they have cancer, they would never do that. This is the if they're programmed, right. if they're programmed that way. Well, right. But that is unkindness from other humans. It must be the worst thing that we could ever do. And why should we want it? And as we saw, as we go into the future, our morality will be on our face to be seen, and that future human will feel another person's pain as their own. We have people today, there is a program on National Public Radio in the United States, and there's a name for it, and I didn't put it into this, um, where people feel another person's emotions as their own. This is real, there are real people like this, there may be one in 10,000. <laughs> Well, you have it when a woman is pregnant, giving birth, and the husband having the yes. contractions. I mean, that's... So, this is the question I heard back here. Are we affected by technology in our emotional life? And if you say no, that will change it will be affecting us in our emotional lives as well. Um, so this quote from Steiner, um, there should pour into our hearts, into our souls, the feeling that wisdom is a great thing. It almost sounds like the Bible. That love is still greater. 
that might, strength, is a great thing, but that love is still greater. So if you know the biblical sayings, there is nothing greater than love. This is human destiny. And so this picture I've used, uh, just to bring it up, and this one, um, again, as a reminder, um, the seven cultural Atlantean ages and now the post-Atlantean ages overlap with the prior ones. And so recapitulations from them get to occur here. And um, so this is kind of review from yesterday, but fitting to try to bring why are some of the, these things happening? Because women will become infertile. I because the physical world is dying. You, but with the porn, I, I, you know Chris Hedges? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, Chris whoa. Hedges, oh yeah. He's an amazing American mm -hmm. uh, journalist, Nobel Peace Prize. Anyways, he has a blog called Truth Dig. Truth Dig? Truth, Truth, Truth Dig, yeah. like digging. Anyways, he wrote this book, Empire of Illusion, and he was talking about uh, porn and how AT&T was one of the biggest distributors of You may be surprised to know, but in the 1980s, e-business was trying to get started, which is everywhere. The internet was a minor thing. And several companies tried to get e-business going. There was no Amazon yet. And um, they were failing. And money had, was drying up because um, all these businesses that tried to sell things on the internet were failing. People still preferred the brick and mortar stores. It was the porn sites that made it happen. Mm -hmm. It was the porn sites that allowed e-business to work. They figured out how to charge, you know, and keep things safe and secure so that people, you know, didn't get revealed and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, but that goes to show you when, when you when you talk about that we're in an age of contraction, that we're contraction contracting, the how do we get the release? And when you get the porn then you right. get a release. I mean it's fake, but you know, at least Thank you. You know, right. so yes. so you know we're we're between contraction and expansion. And what do we do with that? Yeah. Exactly. And of course as you written this you definitely know about <laughs> contraction and expansion. Okay. Um, so I, I, got, I think there's two more, and I'm sorry, I'm not starting to run over, but I thought this picture from Alchemy was, was perfect. We have the woman standing on the moon, overcoming the moon. We need the female forces. And then we will reunite in the future with the sun. The man is standing on. Mm -hmm. This is the reunification. In Revelations, it is a woman that is standing on the moon. We have this whole picture of standing on things. But the sun being, the sun god, as we know, has united himself with the earth. And what's fascinating is the dove, the spirit, this looks identical to a part of the brain called the ventricle. And if you can get a plastic model that you can take apart, you'll find this. And it comes down the spinal cord for the aspect of the soul that is male and female. And here we have the woman offering her etheric body to the male, and the male offering his etheric body to the female. The physical body represents one sex, the etheric body represents the other. It's all there in the alchemy picture. It's incredible. And then the whole thing is encompassed in this egg form, this resurrection form. If like you see the Isenheim altarpiece in Colmar mm -hmm. by Grunewald, mm -hmm. and the Christ resurrection is in this egg shape. Mm -hmm. but the baptism and 